Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Red Flood. I'm your host, Mr. Mogulover, and right now, we're looking at, uh, well, our division's kind of moving around, even because we can sort of go to war against someone else right now. Turkey wants to kill us off, but, um, we have a certain, uh, war goal finished for some of our enemies. We just finished up Mobile Force, just because I want to go to independent production to get some more military factories, because we could really use many factories, and America's killing Guatemala. Totally fine with us, doesn't really matter to us. But let's just go in anyways, have a good old time, and get prepared. For the invasion, or the for, to defend, good old uh, against Turkey. The Turks are gonna invade. We just got rid of 18, 24,000 people. Not bad. Lost about 300 ourselves. Ain't too shabby. Hope you, got, hope you guys are having a pretty good day. I got a few comments, not too many, but a few comments to go through. And thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we got them. Nice. Awesome. Very good. So these guys will go to war with us soon. Yeah, relatively soon. They have about you know, 80 days. We'll see what they do. I think last time I actually beat them up as well. So we're also lowering the amount of rebel resistance here. And we got some more military factories. Great. We could really use more artillery. Like, we could really, really use more artillery. We got some anti air, which would be awesome, awesome, awesome. Right now we're lacking everything but guns, which is fine. We got rid of Russo Israeli migrants, which is fine, whatever. Um, actually, since we're going to do that anyways, uh, some planes. Oh, I want more planes. Cool, and then we're going to go ahead and do uh, gift funds to the ha Halutz. The Jewish Jews pioneers were originally established to give Jews the proper skills to help build kibbutz in Israel upon arrival. This organization needs to be granted more funds as right now it cannot properly train enough for rivals. Nice. Followed up with immigration from Yemen. While many other Jewish communities in various nations have altered or changed their doctrines, traditions or worship practices substantially from the Jews of old, Yemeni Jews have remained as a community that's largely stuck to the original Hebrew customs. From the first Jews settling in the region, the various conflicts among uh, Arabs. Oh, look at that. Among Arabs that devastated the Jewish population <clears throat> uh, in the area, to the brutal exile of Mauza, the Yemeni Jews, Yemeni Jews have faced great struggles and strife within their communities. Now that a new homeland exists for Jews across the world, we expect many Yemeni Jews to derive fleeing persecution, and we'll accept them with open arms. We will greet them not as foreigners, but as long lost brothers and sisters. Nice, got that one done too. That's 1941. Hope you guys are having a great, great day, of Reno. Oh, and we have something here. Ah, yes, better fighters. Good, we actually have fighters. That'd be great. Um, hey, I got some better close air support. Awesome. Mole research, yes, please. Yes, 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 yes. Also, like, if, if I repeat things, like, I do apologize about that. Just because at the time of recording, I'm, I'm actually very, very, very retired. But yeah, the show must go on. The show must go on, of course. I'll uh, keep building up that stuff. I love it that we can keep expanding Israel. Yes, 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 real. Actually, do we have any? Oh, we have no radar here, huh? Well, since we're up here anyways, get some get some radar, why not? We, we might as well, right? We might as well. Get some cast, baby. Oh, that'd be so nice, so nice. Armored operations are okay, even though we're probably not using too much. Let's get some better supply consumption, because we love supply consumption. Get fun to those dudes. Immigration from Yemen. Followed up with immigration from Ethiopia. Oh, look at that. Nothing there. They came from the mountains. Nice. Ah, David Ben-Gurion. Very nice. Oh, oh. That's interesting. Look at that. I guess we'll wait and see what happens. Paul Schulman? Sure, why not? Better sword efficiency from carriers. A totally worth it, right? Totally, totally worth it. Now we got about a week left before they do go to war with us. So we'll see what happens. If they don't attack us immediately, then we'll just like pull off some divisions so like it do attack us rapidly. So that's kind of my goal. Funds are very nice. Victoria Zion. Expanding the Jewish Agency. Oh! The law of return. The IDF, which is great. And you should have in funding. But one of the comments was as I should do more end of a new beginning mod. Oh. Oh look at that. Yeah. Uh, I would like to actually get back to the end of the new, new beginning. It's definitely not finished yet by no by any means necessary. But like I would like to get back to it. It's it, it's a very interesting and fun mod. It's not it's definitely not for everybody. Like, trust me, it's definitely not for everybody, but it's fun. Uh, they came from the desert. Yeah, Yem Yemenite Jews have historically been utterly oppressed and sometimes annihilated by foreign powers, like the historical empires of Abyssinia, however. Yeah, they persisted by the hundreds of thousands, even thriving as they slowly leave the poor kingdom and even poor dominion of Britain to join us in a cause for international jewelry. From the mountains of Sa'anna comes their people. And immigration from Germany. Look at that. Nice. Are they done attacking? Baby. Baby, come on back. Oh, I ask and we shall receive. He's actually very bad on defense. That's alright. Just because I wanted to assess how good he would be on defense because the guys are actually 20 combo with here. So, with field hospitals and anti air. So, I think we're doing okay. A okay. Not great, but not bad. Let them drain themselves with field hospitals. We should actually improve those. We've already lost 6,000 guys. We've got 104,000. That's actually. That's actually very good. Like, holy crap. They're going to be out of manpower before we know it. And equipment-wise, well, they're already out of guns. Nice. 
Oh, we're out of manpower too. Well, we gotta get more manpower. We're only on volunteer only, and we have the three percent here, but still. Oh, return from Yemen is only ten percent. That's not very good. Uh, Mosh, do you have anything here? Mosh Dayan. Another comment was asking if I if I like Israel. Um, that's a comment I'm not gonna. I don't know. Um, that's a comment. I mean, obviously I'm playing them a few times. Uh, sometimes I just play play as them as for just for the memes of it, just but like I don't know. I've always wanted unique Jewish focus trees, so. And these campaigns are very short anyway, so. Whatever! They came from the mountains. Ethiopia had a strange relationship with the Jews, proclaiming to be the children of Israel, and yet actively harming our kind. They've been at the best hostile and the worst outright genocidal. Therefore, it's one of our key supplies, or one of our key needs to help beta Israel Israelis and bring them to the true home. You're all welcome here, man. You're all welcome here. Also, let's keep going on. So we almost did all this. Let's do reward large families last. I'm going to go and do a return from Armerica. Very good. How many people do... My, are they doing... Are they doing... For, they just did force... Look at... They're doing force attack. The AI in my campaigns, man. They just love doing force attack. Okay, now they're not forcing it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Turkey. Oh, there goes Prussia. Do you guys not like your... Can you guys actually win? I've... Be... Yeah. Uh... I mean, we're even taking it into mountains. We don't even have planes yet, do we? Oh, we're out of manpower ourselves. Ooh, that's not good. That's actually really bad. I'll get the... Oh, wait, hold on. Yay! Limited conscription, because we can't get planes if we don't have manpower. Uh, but that's okay, because we want some uh, fighters. Yay. Oh. There you go. Get one going. And then get another one going. There you go. That's how you do it. Just in case. They'll flush, out, flush themselves out a little later. Which is fine. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you. Go ahead. 1-1 one, one becomes what? Anything? No? Alright, well, we'll see. Uh, they're not winning right here, which is fine for now. Honestly, how much stronger are they? We lost 15,000 versus a third of a million. Uh, we can lower this by one. I thought Italy was already at war with Greece, but I guess that's wrong. I guess maybe it's Yugoslavia? I, I, I don't know. Nice. Get some get some good stuff. Get some some of the good stuff. Yes, yes. 41, you might as well. Better radar. They came from the Scarlet Empire. Germany was the mighty land of an equally iron hand, and now how they dealt with the Jewry. has created a sort of friendship with them, at least nominally, yep. Many few Jews find themselves desiring to come to the promised Zionist homeland, believing that dying for a so socialist republic, especially for as formerly high-class society members, would be against their beliefs. Thus, many have been doing an exodus to Israel since we've appeared on the map. Entrepreneurship is the key. I turn from America. Seriously, like, what, what's wrong with these guys? Why do they want to kill themselves off so badly? They went to war with us. We didn't go to war with them. They went to war with us. I was getting war. I want to go to war with Saudi Arabia. That's who I want to go to war with. But okay. So, you know, so be it, right? So be it. And then, well, our brothers in the south. To the south. Why is Italy's killing everybody? Turmoil in Ethiopia possesses an existential threat to the Jews of S Simeon. A beta Israel is in immediate danger. It behooves us to intervene. It must be their focus to just keep going to war. Like they, they, It's basically Goring's wild ride for these guys. So. Hey, we're still winning. I'm feeling good about it. We're still mobilizing more, so... Not a problem. 17,000 losses versus 400,000. Jeez. How many divisions they have? Up to 33, so it's definitely more than us, but... Still. They came from false hope. America, a land which promised and asked, Giving your poor, your downtrodden, you're miserable. You'd only fallen from the status as a city on a hill, with thousands attacking Jews in the country and the economy getting worse every day. People starve in the streets, and even once wealthy members of society are now suffering. Therefore, it wasn't hard to encourage the Jews of America to leave. Land of liberty, land of uh, hunger. My brothers to the south. Followed up with, Conclude the exodus from France. Nice, not bad, not bad. What else do we need here? Another truck, maybe? A few more things to support. We got plenty of already, which is nice. I do want to make 40 combo with infantry, but we'll, we'll see. We'll definitely see. Nice. Good stuff. I'm not going to give Italy anything, though. Nice. 400,000 losses. Almost half a million losses. For what? I guess conclude the exodus from France and Russia. Might as well do Russia first. And we'll do some France stuff. Some French stuff. Some France stuff? Nah, we don't do France stuff. We do French stuff. You know what? Go to extensive, because you can. Nice. Come on, come on. Go to Azmet if you can. Eh, it's all ahead of time. Who cares? Y'all doing great. I hope they don't oh, lose anybody here or anything like that. So, Azmet, come on, baby. Only half a million have died. And we got him. Right? There we go. Nice. 
Not bad. We have to manually just find them. Now, the Italians might just find us, but we can just find these guys too. 125 days, we have any ships? Technically, no, but yes, but no. Cool. Oh, you know what? Screw it. We're going to reward, reward larger families for now. That's fine with me. You know, I, I want to get to the unique part of the focus tree, so we'll see what happens. After Saudi Arabia, though, then we'll go to war with Greece, finish these guys off. And we'll go to war with Constantinople. Well, maybe not Constantinople. You're not looking pretty good, though. Afghanistan, what the heck is going on here? This is disgusting. But they came from the frozen wasteland. Russia's always been unforgiving, especially so to the Jews, who have been simply utterly repressed and sent to die in the thousands for no reason other than being Jewish. So, when news reached us, or a Jewish state, of a Jewish state appearing in the Levant came up, thousands have been flocking every month to Zion, seeking better treatment, education, and wealth. Perhaps uh, Russia will learn. I don't know about that, but we'll see what happens. You know what? We're... Nah, I just finished it fine. Oh! My bad. Look at that, nice. Iran's really going to town here. Mohammed Reza Pahlavi is doing quite an interesting job. So, Anything else down here? Yeah, you always got some stuff, which is fine. Cool. Go ahead and train, guys. You're going to need it. It's fine. It's fine. Cool. Any upgrades? Yes. You get Yigdal. I can move faster. Why not? Oh, do you have any mosh? Uh, you go, oh, yeah. 10% more is not much, but we'll still take it. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's now skill level 7 for attack, but skill level 4 for defense, so he's, he's learned a lot. He's learned a lot from our enemies, which is very, very nice. We're actually doing really well in supplies. We need more anti-air, though, and support equipment. So, they came from the Vortex. France was not what it once, it once, it was not what it has once been. That wretched fertile and largely peaceful land has given away in recent years of massive civil discord, danger, daily dangers, and great uncertainty. The Jews of France are entirely uncertain and look forward to developing a new land in the spirit of certainty and peace. It's an end to chaos here, so that's actually very good. Ooh, low manpower, it's fine, whatever. And we still need to do that one again, but I, you know what? Iran seeks an agreement. Iran decided to create a diplomatic alliance officially just an agreement to partition the small, weak politics of Levant to our favor. Especially considering our ardent rhetoric regarding our territorial claims, Tehran has offered us all lands beyond the Euphrates. Whilst we cannot touch or interfere with the territory east of the Euphrates, shall we accept? You know what? I've never taken them out before. No, we go our own way. I've done the other, two, the other way several times already, so. Let's go our own way, everyone. We're going our own way, because we, we have to. You, help me with this. Yeah, it's, it's rising around here, so that's not good. So, okay, do that. Good. After rewarding large families, let's go and do some housing projects to get more political power in order to handle the problems coming with the growing populations. We'll need to fund expansive projects, and expansive projects, such as our housing projects. We'll need to be committed to the idea of nation building, and this includes providing the immigrants with places to stay. Oh, sounds good to me. Yeah, we gotta get 40 combo with the biggest Jewish divisions known to man. Cool. And... Oh, that one's locked. Fine. 32. Nice. Good, good, good. Just, just such thick divisions, man. British Egypt is done, which is nice. Uh, let's go into Cryptology. And do you all. And then do... Um, you as well. That'd be good. Good, 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 good. Factories forged, not very much. Two, well, that's not even that's even worse now, but whatever. Housing project. Might as well, right? Weekly war support, and eh, we're kind of okay. Into air upgrades, nice. Some improved anti air. It is almost 42, so it is what it is. And there you go. Cool. Six days left, five days. Well, yeah, we might as well get the next research. Or if we're done next for land now to attack plus 25%. Might as well, right? And there goes our army XP. Now this will be followed up with a complete road network. We get more infrastructure. Yay! So since we're here anyways, are you getting into by anybody? I hope not. Maybe not. That's good. 125 days. That's fine. We're done training, hopefully, maybe. Yeah, we are. That's good. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Not bad. Not bad. Casualties? Oh, oh it's clutch. God dang it. How much manpower do they have? Al Hamad. None! Yay! Wait, why did America go to war with Australia? And what's Australia? What the heck? They got a lot of guns, that's it. Alright. Not bad. We're losing some fuel, though, but that's alright. Things happen. God, I wish we could see that so much. Look at that. Expanded family benefits. Might as well, right? Get 1.18. Not too bad. 
Keep going, keep going. Look at that, so weak now. Love it. Ah, that can't do a thing. And we actually have some air because we look at that. Not bad. A complete road network. Might as well. We're looking good on everything but anti-air. Even support going is looking pretty good too. There you go. Try that out. And get some of this too. Nice. Goodbye, Saudi Arabia. Goodbye. Happy 1942, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. We can't build anything now. This sucks. <laughs> we can't build anything. Oh, I want to go to War Economy. Expert focus? I mean... Eh, we're kind of doing okay-ish. Would like some more fuel, but whatever. Shouldn't take too long to go to war with these guys, right? Oh, it's gonna take a little time. Um, yeah, I don't like these 56 day focuses though, so I don't know. We did do uh, anticipate conflict, so that's kind of nice. Um, yeah, we can wait for we can we don't, we don't have to spend any more time for this stuff. Ooh, what's over here? Anti air, yes, yes. We already got the Jews from Yemen, so Yemen can die now. Um, if you want to read about this one, well, there's nothing there, and then this one, offensive operations. There's nothing here either, which is disappointing. We can establish the IAF. The newest theater of warfare offers Israel the chance to punch for above its weight. With the proper air force, we can dominate numerically superior ground forces. Pretty much. Pretty much. Get some more fuel. That's good. And after I've asked computer machines, we'll come over here and get some more. Uh, ah, good hospitals. Why not? That's good to protect your manpower, which we are we no longer have anymore. Okay then. And a secure aircraft deals. That's not bad. Get more air bases. Is is okay. Uh, Ethiopian minorities or militias. Our faithful Ethiopian Jews are used, used to a harsh and brutal land, not unlike the landscape of Palestine. Thus, when the time comes to defend our land via guerrilla warfare, we must train our brothers from Africa. Followed up with infiltrate Ethiopia. In order to help the Jews of Ethiopia reach salvation, we must send personnel into the region and set up necessary channels of exodus. Cool. To Chris opinion, so be it. Immigration from Poland? Oh, yes, please. We like them Poles. Oh, no. How many people live here? 2.37 million, while 22.2 million people are not non-core population available. Wow, that's insane. Literally 10% of the population, like, owns... Well, it doesn't own, but it controls the other group, so... Um, how good are you? Eight, goodbye. I'm not gonna bother with stuff like that. I'm gonna have you guys just gonna convert yourselves already. Cool. I don't wanna see this stuff. Nice. But our already would be great, 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 great. Oh, well, there goes Greece. Well, so much for that. Are you guys guaranteed by the UK still? Yeah, you are. Which sucks. Okay, then. Well, that was a waste of time waiting for that. Mm. Oman, maybe? Oh, uh, no. Wait, how are you not a... How are you not in... There's fear if you're part of that. Cover transport fleet. Transporting thousands of people from Ethiopia to Israel is no mean feat. Meaning, as a Red Sea... Sees much traffic from unfriendly friendly regimes. We should aim to make our movements as clandestine as possible. Pretty much. Um, I guess the last thing we'll probably do is take those, these guys. Italy, I don't want to deal with Italy, I'll be honest. Yeah, at this point, there's really not much we can do about this. Oh, look at that. Iraq used to exist, but I guess these guys took them out. Iran took them out, maybe? Yeah, that's a massive border we have with them. I mean, if we could go all the way to Tehran, that'd be great, but still. Fight for beta Israel. The time is coming to break it, beta Israel away from the Ethiopian control, at least until we can complete the exodus. Build some schools? Sure, we might as well. Build some roads? Our agents have found that channels of the Red Sea are now not sufficient for rapid exodus. Sending Israeli engineers and funds toward the construction of better roads and rail lines will aid our people in the Ethiopians too. Sounds good to me. Here, you can be the guy that doesn't have that much going for himself. There you go. And there you go, too. Nice. Screw it. I'm going to kill all of our manpower, so. 
Nice. Nice. Uh, we can raise the subscription level some more, maybe. Where are we at? Export focus. That's not bad. Yeah, we need to go to service by requirement. And 42. That's not bad. Keep training, keep training. These guys are probably pretty good. No, they're not. Okay, never mind. Germany, build some schools. How about that? Yeah, build some schools, guys. Build some schools. Y'all can get an education. Beta Israel. You're not Alpha Israel, but Beta. I forget what that means. Like, home? Something like that? And led by Yakuz Fatulovich. Fatulovich. Nice. Look at that. Return from America. So now, we're at total band power, 300 some thousand. Um, that is almost 25 million. Close, but not quite there yet. Almost 25 million, which is pretty nice. We're doing well on everything else, though. Which is actually pretty reassuring for us, so. Go into the tube, thank you. And put yourselves, like, right there. Yeah, Turkey did not deserve independence this campaign, so. And there goes our manpower. Which is actually probably really bad. You know what, screw it, don't, you, goodbye. We need that manpower for resistance and such. Alright. Build some school arenas. Um, we get done training, maybe. Build some schools. Build some roads. Return from America. Might as well. Follow it up with reunite with our brothers. Our op operations are almost complete. The Jews of Ethiopia are arriving in Israel in numbers now. Soon there'll be only the most stubborn men remaining, and the Beta Israel will be no more. Sounds good to us. I hope someone takes these guys out. Operation Jakob. Well, let's do it again. Why not? At this point, we might as well. Port Said. Come on, please don't lose this one. I made sure this time we're, we're, we're just stacked with guys. Look at all of that. Look at all that, man. I just hope we can become successful with this. Please become successful. Please, please, please. Oh, you know what? Let's go more south tech. Let's go Jack. And... Come on, I, he's level 7 attack, right? So you should do well here. You should do well no matter what. Six divisions of 40 combo width. That are not fully stocked, of course. Versus six divisions of probably like 10, 12 combo width. Okay, so look at that. If we win, we get political power. We become owner and controller of Sinai, and it becomes a core for us. Nice. And the British Egypt, uh, it become a core of us. Yeah, if we lose, we lose war support, political power. Nice! We finally won. It's really victory in Sinai. Egyptian forces have been forced out of position and are retreating towards the Suez Canal. It's really truth of one out and the border clashes leave the territory open for occupation forces. Like shame. Look at that! Oh, it's so beautiful, is it not? Ah. Greater Israel, my friends. Truly tremendous, thick Israel. Reunite with our brothers. Look at that. Israel is not thick enough, but that's probably as far as we can go with this, so... Um, oh wait, Operation Mosh. Oh! I can do it again! Hold on, let's get on the line, boys! You know, it's good, just go ahead, just do it. No one's there, so. All we're missing is manpower. That's literally all we need. If we can take the Suez as well, that, that, that's... Wow. So, wait, what happened here? Did they get this back or something? Oh, maybe I was not paying attention. Cool! Uh, Immigration Poland, might as well. And... Good hospitals, 42, better guns. Weapons 3. Followed up with a new Jewish man. Yay, it's a sad fact that for many in Israel that the vast majority of Jews have forgotten a glorious heritage. This can be excused, however, by the fact that a Jewish state has not existed since the time of the Romans. We can, however, fix this mess and bring back a glorious Hebrew roots for the good of Israel. We must not forget our heritage, the one that binds all of us together, and we must instead face the birth of the God's chosen people. Look at that. Oh, 100%. I love it. 100%. Jews today, Jews tomorrow, Jews forever. So good. So far, so good. You're a, you're kind of average-ish. Not bad, but not great. Come on, have we won the, the battle yet? Please, let us, please. A crippling move. It's really operational. The east bank of the Suez has succeeded, driving Anglo-Egyptian forces away from the part of the canal. As the Royal Navy scrambles to react, Israeli forces have already begun securing the full length of the canal from both sides. The British Empire's main artery is severed. The town is open and stop the bleeding. Outstanding move. Nice. Is that what we can do? No. Operation Avraham. We can... Oh my gosh. Let's get some more 
uh, stuff here first, because finding a bit for these guys is probably going to be pretty difficult, so give this guy some time. And we'll do okay, probably. Complots is pretty good, look at that. 71%. The Jordanians love us. Like, it'll be told, the Jordanians absolutely love us. They came from the pale in the cities. The Entomarium's anti-Semitic isn't, isn't inherently anti-Semitic. However, it's clear that people within the Entomarium's governments have beliefs in assisting your government and bringing the Jews to the Zionist home. As thousands of the Poles, Belarusians, and Ukrainian Jews have come to the new home, we can only wonder. Will they speak Yiddish? Eh, maybe, maybe not. Nationalized businesses. Oh, get back to consumer goods, which is actually nice. It hurts the growth for efficiency growth, but whatever. Nice. Pretty darn sh not bad, my friends. We could try it as well. Let's see what happens. And oh, they do have a lot more guys here stacked now, which is unfortunate. Hopefully we will not be fighting for the river, over river, so... That should give us the advantage, but I could be wrong. I could be incredibly wrong about that. A few days left, nice. 15-1, good. Keep building up some roads. Roads, roads, roads. West Bank, yes, yes. Get some radar first, though. Oh, and here we go. Oh, please tell me you're going to win. Okay, so if we win, we get more political power. Okay, so we win. The UK removes puppet from the British Egypt. That's interesting. That's very interesting. If you lose, we, this becomes a demilitarized zone. So let's not fail here. And, oh, wait. The field marshal's leading the... Okay. Nice. Egypt, ex humbled. Israeli troops have asserted their control over the Afro-Asiatic border. Another de de defeat dealt to the Anglo-Egyptian forces have sent the British reeling. Their withdrawal from the region seems intimate. Remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. Is that it? Oh, don't tell me that's it. Please don't tell me that's it. Please, please, please. Oh, man. Please don't tell me that's it. Is that all you can do is Israel? Like, I, I, I do want to take him out, so we can probably wait for that. But we have a new Jewish man here we need to talk about. Oh, and we'll get a good war, get some more manpower, too. That'd be good. 2,200 people a month. That's not bad. New Jewish man. Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In the meantime, you can go and pause, I guess. and clean train. That's fine, yeah. Export focus. Limited exports. Not bad. Actually, do we... I kind of doubt we got any resources from here. Yeah, it's not that great. Yeah. Not really much around here, not gonna lie. Oh, we love Jewish men. Wait, what? Oh, I'll grab that one. Very good. Oh, can someone not give us their stuff? Guys. Ah, I see. At least one. Grab one of these as well. We need to ba be balanced on what we get. So after this one, this one takes a while to do. Uh, we could do that one. Is there anything else we could do here? I mean, we have this stuff over here, but it doesn't really matter too much. Ruthless training is not bad, but still. I guess we do establish IAF. So we'll probably do this one. Punch above our weight. I mean, Armenia, Armenia gets two air bases. How does that help anybody with being over here? That You know, that general area. So not sure how it's supposed to help anybody, but whatever. Let time go on. Huh. Afghanistan's coming back. Maybe we should have, a, should have gone to war with these guys. Oh, wait. They're fighting. Oh, they're fighting them. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, they're dead. Yeah, they're, they're literally just going to die there then. America. What the heck? Technocracy Incorporated. Accelerationist. Jesus. Technet Super Economy. Wow, that's really strong. Holy cruddy daddies. And can they beat Mexico? Manuel Avila Camacho. Camacho. We have they're pushing in. Over the river. They're both in war economy. I have volunteer only, so they got some, they they still have a chance. Alright, not bad, not bad. Join wars, yeah, no thanks. Um Maybe you need focus tree? No they don't, that sucks. That'd be kinda cool if they did. Would be a lot cooler if you did, man, not gonna lie. Yeah, not really much here. I wish there was more content, honestly, for like Israel. There's more for more nations, but really Israel in general, just because I, it could be a lot of fun. It could be a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. So, and if you're still watching, thank you for still watching. I do appreciate it. So, uh, 
All right, about two weeks left for that. They do a lot of divisions. How, how much? How many more days? That's not bad. About a month. About a month is not too bad. After the IAF, secure aircraft deals. Nice. Hey, look at that. Why do we get that much manpower? Wow. That's not bad. Uh, we can work on this a little bit more, too, but that's fine. Localized training centers. Pretty good. Pretty good. The IAF. All 40 combo width. Not bad. Yes, yes, good, good, good. And we'll finish it up with infiltration in depth. More reconnaissance, more reinforce rate. This doesn't help us particularly in battle, per se, but, you know, we'll still take it. 100 planes, not bad. Boys, anti tank rifle. Sorry, I'm not just stopping the game at this point anymore. There's no really, no point to, so. Um, here. Ground support, why not? There you go. Five days left. For advanced anti air. Uh, military police. That could work out. Yeah, we want to do some military police if we can. Because you guys could use it. Save so slightly some manpower. Two guns over Israel. The three soldiers stare confused at the skies and an entire squad of fighter planes prance high above the military base in the Hebron Mountains. Twenty-one planes the sergeant encountered. They wore signs and colors that he couldn't recognize, but they didn't be behave like spies. If they were enemies inside those fighters, a subtle discharge of machine gun fire might indicate such a thing, but so far they only danced elegantly above their heads. As the group stared amazed at the spectacle, a corporal walked past him. That's Cohen, Sarge. All the newspapers went crazy about him yesterday. The group stared at the corporal blankly. A Cohen in Israel didn't seem all that special. Morris Cohen. Co Cohen. Uh, two guns, Cohen. Madman fought in China. Everyone else is brilliant. Seems he finally decided to fly all the way back home. Even he brought some friends as well. Before he had a chance to finish his explanation, Cohen and his men had already zoomed away from the area, beyond the horizon. No doubt to make similar surprises to more bases. A night in the sky. You know who else is a night in the sky? Herman Goring. <laughs> just, just saying. I'm just saying. You know. He's a dude. He's definitely a dude. Women in the Air Force? If we have to. All the citizens of Israel shall come to serve in the country, as we've surrounded all, all sides. Women aren't strong enough to wield heavy weaponry, but the concentration of agility. Should make them practical and perfect pilots for Air Force. All right, let's stop doing that. That is fine with us. Give us a few days. Um, I lied, and let's go to war. Okay. Uh. Um. Well, I guess you were. I mean, this is not going to win, but they were losing up here. But now you're doing kind of okay. I'm kind of okay with that then. Level seven attack, dude, is really good. We're going to become an engineer, a Desert Fox, over ransom divisions, over an assault, a specialist, which is very good as well. I don't know why they're ignoring this group. Why are you going down here and ignoring this group? Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. All right. Oh, more millies? Not bad. Yeah, get some tanks. Because we can. Uh, oh, it's still clutch. God dang it. Hey, Alexandria would be nice this time of year. Okay, they're gone. Wow, that was fast. Well then. Um, I, I, I guess that's going to be it. So... I mean, I could wait to do other stuff, but I think that's pretty much it. So, Women in the Air Force, uh, support from above, ruthless training, the feature of aero combat, captured tanks, and offensive operations. But I guess that's that's literally it. I, I, like, oh, hold on, uh, hold on. We saw this one down here too, so. I mentioned Hebrew. As many Jews arriving in Israel do not speak Hebrew fluently, efforts must be made to promote literacy and fluency, making the ancient tongue the unifying language of our des desperate people. Let's preserve Yiddish, Islam, Ladino, Aramaic, union of cultures. For centuries, Jews have been divided across the earth, developing their own traditions and cultures, all while remaining loyal to the people and to Jerusalem. We have to be committed to the colorfulness of our values, otherwise we'll go down the drain of history like many others before us. Let's not repeat the errors of our forefathers and fun urbanization. Regarding infrastructure, a large part of our country is still vastly underdeveloped. As war rampaged through the Holy Land, most of the colonial roads were damaged and destroyed. We need to start the reconstruction projects and fun urbanization. To let the people from the rural ages and pave the way for a modern Israeli state. But hey, that's literally it now. If you enjoyed the video and the very short campaign, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already. And I guess I'll see you in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.